Hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome to the Design Exchange with Danny Russo and Melinda Peters Elliott. Hey everybody. We had a little bit of a vacation a <laughs> moment ago and we didn't get to release really. a podcast in a couple of weeks. <laughs> that's that's the understatement. Vacation is not the word. <laughs> What'd you say? Working like workers. Oh my God, we have been so busy with installs, with oh tracking God. orders, trying to find things from things coming in damaged, yep. things going from floating status to actually being in, oh, we got, we had one client merchandise, it's in Ohio. That's all they would tell us. It's in Ohio. Where in Ohio? Who knows? Um, but we have just been crazy busy. You had a wonderful event at your shop that we got to attend with Lisa. Right. Um, that was fun. Yeah. What was it? Old fashioned Christmas. The old fashioned Christmas. Yeah. We're in downtown London. Yeah. It was so fun. That, we had a lot fun. of people there. We did. It was, it was one of the busiest thing, you know, times we've ever had actually in the shop. So it hey. was awesome. That's a good thing, right? It's good good when a local community supports their local businesses. So yes. And I so appreciate everybody that came out to that and you know and and bought things and you know spread the cheer and we're and I'm still sending out the people's gifts. <laughs> I noticed you were texting me for addresses and you're telling me what's so-and-so's address? And I'm like, who are you even talking about? <laughs> I know. I'm like, I think you have the name wrong, Melinda. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, like it was this person. And you were like, oh, that person. So like, yep. Yeah. So, the, yeah. Never fear. They're going out today. So if you don't ever get your, your item, then it was lost in the mail. <laughs> which is Lost very in the mail. Possible, very possible this time of yeah, year good. so oh my god jar shipping cutoff was december 15th for yes. both places to get it yeah. there on time and we're now as i just said september december 15th <laughs> was the cutoff yep um but you know i've been getting stuff from amazon still um pretty swiftly which is surprising me too, me too. i'm really really pleased um, one of my friends sent something last Wednesday and she said it was like, this is a deadline before Christmas deliveries and it was delivered on Saturday. So oh. it wasn't even like delayed that much. So you no, know, we're in a weird, weird, we're all, <laughs> we've been in a weird world for the last two years. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Um, it's just we, who knows what's going to happen next. Yeah. Maneuvering through, oh, we had blinds. Um, that they were told us back in the beginning of November that they were not going to be in until January 5th. And they came in last week. Huh. It was a Christmas miracle. I was like, oh my gosh. So I called the customer and I'm like, this is freaking Christmas miracle. I will bring your blinds and we will have them in your house by Christmas. And she was like, oh, all like static and everything. So it was awesome yeah. to be able to deliver that news. It's, we've had so many down things to talk about, you know, with our design, but to have something come in sooner was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So yeah, I've happy. had some, I've had some random trucks showing up, which I'm very happy about. Yeah. I'm still missing some things that were supposed to be here a long time ago. We don't know where they're at, but so we hard to track orders. I think that's one of the hardest jobs that we have as designers is tracking orders and we have to constantly call because nobody's going to track that for you no and that's where <laughs> the value of a designer comes in. That's, <laughs> where the, that's where the that's where your designer comes in because we're tracking these orders we're calling the people the best is i'm trying to track these orders and the woman goes oh i'll call you tomorrow and let you know where your order is well oh, tomorrow didn't show up and then when we emailed her she's out of the office until um oh. january so <laughs> i was like oh great thanks but that's, awesome. that's awful i am the proud owner of a new brand new gloss black eight 
foot five by 14 feet long customized trailer for Daniel Russo home. Yay! And we're going to be using that like crazy. It just, the company ordered it 10 months ago and they just so happened to have it. And then my new car, um, because of the chip shortage, they decided to deliver, deliver that without a touch screen. Yeah. So the last time, what this is about, like what that means. <laughs> don't get me started. I ended up buying my Cadillac Escalade rental car and they're going to do all the touch-ups for me on that tomorrow. And then I'm packing a truck and or packing a car up. I don't know what car it will be, but they're going to be doing a bunch of detail work to the Cadillac and I'm going to be um, driving to Youngstown in whatever car they give me. And then hopefully when I get back, the car will be done. The trail will be, trailer will be ready. Yeah. Now, do you have the hitch on the, on the truck? On the um, new I bought all the accoutrements for it. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to wallpaper the inside. I'm going to lay LVP flooring. Yeah. So it's going to be my mobile design assault vehicle. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. It has it has a whole back door that folds down. It has a side door that pops up, has another side door on the other side. Maybe I'll turn into a food truck. Who knows? <laughs> um, we can sell fudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you guys haven't heard from us in a while. Um, Elise had to fill in because we've just been so busy. Oh my gosh. It's been crazy. Everything. Elisa not. came in for Thanksgiving and then she had to come back in to help me with a big install, um, which was last week, which I'm still shocked that we got that done. Yeah, that was awesome. But since yeah. then, we went to the ASID Christmas party together and your wonderful junior designer got one an Amazon Alexa dot. Yes. And we got to hear all about the, um, I don't know, I think they're a little bit jealous because I used Sherwin Williams color of the year. And I think the party was sponsored by PP and G <laughs> and they wanted to, yeah, wanted right. to promote their color of the year. Mm -hmm. So we know that we had this conversation already about the colors of the year and um, Sherwin Williams, uh, Sherwin Williams came out with evergreen mist um dunn and edwards came out with art and craft benjamin moore came out with october mist um and then val spar came out with the navy blue <laughs> um hgtv came out with a lighter blue and we <laughs> glitty and paint came out with guacamole <laughs> Well, basically, it's all greens, green yeah. tone. Bear, bear paint came out with Breezeway. Um, and they all kind of look the same. PP&G came out with Olive Sprig. And then Pantone came out of nowhere, and they developed their own color of the year. Yeah. It's a very specific color for this year. And the color that they chose was a very peri. Yeah, yeah. So... Would you call it a periwinkle? Yeah. There's um, a oh, you can't see the color. I was going to read that exact thing. Uh, okay. Somebody thought that I wrote it myself. And they go, <laughs> that sounded really good. Did you write that? And I'm like, no, I didn't write that. I'm trying but to show the color on the screen, but it's not showing up very it's well. A, it's a bluish purpley color. So as we move forward into a world of unprecedented change, the selection of Pantone 17-3938, Very Perry, brings a novel perspective and vision of the trusted and beloved blue color family, encompassing the qualities of the blues, yet with Yet at the same time, with its violet red undertone, Pantone 17 3938, very Perry, displays a spiritually joyous attitude and dynamic presence that encourages courageousness, courageous creativity, and imaginative expressions. So I'm a little bit shocked because they did uh, Radiant Orchid a few years ago, yeah. and they did. Um, 
because they had a purple in the past last year for 2020 we had yellow which i thought was in the pipeline for a while and they mm -hmm. did colors of the year and it was a gray and a yellow yep so, and then we had that pink and blue combination the year before that that was in 2017 2017 yeah i forget i knew knew them all but no classic blue 2020 was classic yeah, blue. that's right that's right 2019 was i can't remember in the blue no they did that in 2017 i want to say it was a it was something it was something but anyway a lot of designers will tell you that they're not going to use the color of the year they're not going to be on board with it but guess what you will be using that color and you're going to see it come up frequently in the year 2024 and 2025 because that's when these colors start trickling down yeah. um, i love the color i mean i am a purple person anyway so and the more i've looked at it the more i like it so and if you are on the sherwin williams if you have that deck it's close to the color Morning Glory, um, SW6971. Hmm. So that's one of the color. If you want to look at it, that's the color that matches it. So we love working with Sherwin Williams because they're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. yeah. Our reps do us very well. Yeah. We like to support our Ohio companies. So, yes. And then PPG is not too far away, Pittsburgh Paint Group. And I think a lot of people in Ohio have an anti Steelers thing, or <laughs> you're, either, you're either Steelers or you're Brown. Brown. I don't know. I think whoever designed the colors for the Cleveland Browns, I don't think they, I think they were colorblind. I do too. Brown, brown and Terrible. orange. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely a Bengals fan. I like the colors better. So I was a high point market and I saw a lot of light colors. It went from dark and moody and I didn't see any Edison bulbs, which made me very happy. Yeah, um, we're running low on lighting. I do know that much. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to find fans. We have had so much trouble getting fans in um, and some of the lights. I mean, it's like 12 to 14 weeks out. So yeah. it's just uh, unprecedented times, you know. I had a client that I went to last week, and you will not believe this. They had a fan delir. Oh, yeah. I've a seen fan, them. a I fan delir. I've never seen this. Not what you're thinking. They had, it had, um, I know what it is. Glass, smoke glass crystals hanging down around it. And the fan was hidden. And when you turn the fan on, the blades expand. Yep. <laughs> it would go around. And I've never seen that before. And I don't know why. I'm usually like on top of those things. But I saw one in one of my clients' houses a couple of years ago. And I was like, but it wasn't a crystal. It was like um, you know, like a bowl. Like yeah, a and the fan bowl. was inside. Yeah. Yeah. And I've it seen those. came out and I was it looked like an octopus. Yeah. There's certain certain places that I would use those and certain places I wouldn't. So yeah. I think um, they're pretty modern and condo-ish looking. So because they're small, because the fans can't get that big. No. So, and the client I had had it in their kitchen. So I think that was a good option for them. I'm doing an amazing thing with a, uh, a mini bar area for a client. I'm actually taking four corner Lazy Susan cabinets and I'm gonna stack them next to each other and kind of turn them into a circle. Oh, fun. I have a seating area around it, but it's further downstairs, like mini bar area and they wanted a lot of storage. So mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be fun to do. That'll be fun, yep. Yeah. We are just finishing up a kitchen design where we used uh, gray cabinets because they did not, they went gray, gray stained because they didn't want paint. And we did a navy blue countertop and they did white sinks. And then we're doing a, um, an island in navy blue with a white quartz top. And they, they're going to get this funky light that has like four or five different, you know, like Ears. orbital things above yeah. it. So it's I'm excited for 2022. I just hope we get product. It seems like the supply chain's recovering 
um, pretty swiftly. Um, I know that the West Coast is nearly, they completely recovered. We had 100 ships floating at the beginning of the month, and we were down to about 34 floating um, two weeks ago. And I think they're almost caught up. We, now East Coast. getting New, help from New, Newark. Newark and New York. You saw me post that this morning. Yeah. Um, those cool. two ports ended up helping greatly. Yeah. And, exactly. Yeah. That's I can tell. I mean, I can definitely see things moving. And um, yeah. I think that they've tried really hard to get most of the items for Christmas delivered to people. And definitely, I've ordered so far has come in. I'm, I'm in great shape. I'm, I'm in really good shape. So I'm happy. It's Does your car have a touch screen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, yours doesn't. <laughs> My new Cadillac does. That'll be awesome. It's my, it's my used new Cadillac. <laughs> new Cadillac. So and shout out to Enterprise for taking such great care of me through this That's whole awesome. process. I actually ended up buying the rental car that I've been driving for the last two months. <laughs> um, and and you had to actually drive it, which I'm impressed. I know. It's like I had to learn how to drive again because the other car was <laughs> self-driving. Driving lessons, Danny. Yeah. But now we're going to be doing, I might as well get my CDL license and um, <laughs> learn how to drive this trailer. I think we need to go drive uh, freight trucks, remember? I, I oh my God, me and you can make bank. We, we can just could. have one of our assistants sit and me and you can go driving around semis. We could podcast the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have a lot of entertainment. Make sure you're following our new um, Instagram, the uh, it's, uh, TDX podcast. We had a hacking issue somehow in our old one. We got a little hacky hacked, um, but I've been I posting these. Too. Now we're, you clicked on something or your kid clicked on something, I think, but what? we're posting these podcasts um, to my Instagram, my Instagram, my YouTube channel. Um so we're going to get the audio versions downloaded. We have some great upbeat music that Abigail's been producing for us. Yep. You're going to be able to listen to Danny and Melinda, if I can let her <laughs> get a word in, on um, 610 Radio, iHeartRadio, all over the country, every the first Sunday of every month at about 5 p.m. Yep. You'll get to hear us talk about design and what's going on in the world. That's right. Um, I'm excited about that. Mindy and Michaela are awesome people. I know they we had so much fun the last time we were there you couldn't get a word in but no <laughs> Andy was talking and I was looking at him like shut up, shut up. <laughs> and I, I'm like I'm not gonna say anything because he was on a roll and you know Danny was doing Danny and so well, I get just me going wanted. it's hard to <laughs> shut me up <laughs> I know I, I'm gonna give you this kind of a yeah. we have a new website daniel russo home and we are, we're launching our shop this year yeah um you well, can have a year. rolling shop we have we have a lot going on um i'm just really happy with my team i'm really happy with the way my projects are going yeah I just wish stuff would show up faster and i don't know we're walking and rolling yeah, it's been what are you? I, I hate to ask this question because I hate doing New Year's resolutions, but what would you think? What would you say is one of your New Year's resolutions for 2022? Recovery. <laughs> so, what kind um, of recovery, Melinda? You and many of you who are uh, past clients and friends of mine um, have known that I have a gal that's been working with me a long time, um, Crystal. Crystal has Love been working Crystal. for 20 years and she started working for me on August 15th of 2001, 2001. Wow. And yeah. And I looked it up today because I gave her a, a crystal cross, a Waterford crystal cross for her. She's retiring to be with her husband and they're going to travel. And I am just a mess over this because Maybe we could get crystal to be our truck driver <laughs> she, she wants if she wants to travel she can do anything <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> so she and she's been she has 
I, I hired her as a workroom person um, originally, but then she kind of trickled into being able to help me with the design studio. And then she became my design assistant. And then she was the gift shop manager. And so she can do everything. She's she's my literally my left hand. She's left-handed, I'm right-handed. I always call her my left hand. Yeah. Uh, sister from another mister, like, and tomorrow's- She's your work like, wife. Huh? She's your work wife. Yeah. So, um, well, so Abigail good. is gonna be my, my new crystal. And um, we've got training to do, and you know, she's a little overwhelmed. Um, because there's so much crystal did so much and that we've known for six months that crystal's going to leave. But, you know, when you have a small company and you have someone that has been with you for so long, you almost don't know how to think without that, that brain being with you. Exactly. Um, well, we're boutique, why, we're boutique designers, so yeah. well, you're going to make it through crystal's She's Christmas been through great. a lot with me, a lot of life, um, ups and downs. And um, I was just reflecting today and I told her I wasn't going to cry. And she said, I'm not going to cry either. And, you know, I was ended up crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had some wonderful staffing changes in my warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I have, my, I'm so happy with my team right now. And we've had people that, took on a job and then they're they don't show up for work but we've been getting this place so organized our yeah. training is like come, becoming out of this world yeah. i can't wait to get this trailer so we can like mm -hmm. have more space yeah. but i think between me and you we're going to be one of the only designers that have inventory yeah <laughs> and that's things right. you're going in the new year we but we have inventory like coming out the wazoo it's in my back room and i've almost outgrown my shop, which is a big space. So I'm like, okay, so, you know, my, my idea for next year is to recover from this year um, and, and making sure that next year doesn't go crash um, and that we can move forward in a positive manner because when you have staffing changes like that, it's things can go awry and it scares me that my clients might feel like that I have, you know, that they I'm not won't. there. They won't. They will not. Yeah. That's so what's your, what's your word going to be for the year? Mine is going to be organization and timeliness. And I'm going to try to be a better version of me, be a more organized version of me, mm -hmm. listen to the people that are around me that have helped me get to where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. and just focus on my passion and you know my passion is this business right and yeah, me I too. am like I'm on it I've been I've been working full weeks yes you have. for the last like two three months I've been on time I've been showing up been getting stuff done I had a rush install last week and I had to make some cancellations with clients and move things around but I think I'm in a very, I'm in a very good place and I'm yeah. really set and excited for. I think, I think one of the hardest things um, that I dealt with this year is that, you know, when, when it's great, it's great. And you get all kinds of new business. It's hard. It's so hard to figure out how much you can really handle, you know, as oh, a, yeah. you know, for your team, you've got a lot of people to pay. You've got all these contractors that, you know, you've got to get them when you can get them, but yeah, try to figure out how to do the design part of it in a, in a manner that the client's going to be satisfied with is insane to try to figure it out. So I've gone to, and if other designers are listening to this and clients, I mean, what I try to do is focus on like one main client a week. And then near the end of the week, once I get that main client kind of taken care of, then I'll do the little things. So, but I, I kind of like start trying to figure out my weeks that way. And it does help. To Pre planning, planning out your weeks. Like we didn't have an MTL meeting today and today yeah. was Monday and we were busy. We had a client to get ready for yep. and we were rushing to get ready. And I was like, you guys, we have to have our 
master task list meeting. We yes. have to do it no matter what. Yep. And yep. I literally stopped at the end of the day and went through it on my own. Yeah. I updated what I knew I had to update. Yeah. But it's funny because we're getting trucks in daily that should have been here months ago. Oh, and shoot. I have things showing up to projects in Chicago, Minnesota. And it's like, what, why are like, they want to clear out their warehouses so they don't have to pay the inventory tax is what I think. Right. Don't you love this new background I have? I do. Gary, um, if you one. saw what I'm attached to right now, I'm literally <laughs> attached to a green screen and I Gary, it. It's, it keeps going in and out of the corner because it's not high enough. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But um, we, <laughs> it looks like it would look like, it looks like a headdress from one of those women yeah. big <laughs> but it's I green it I, somehow I turned it black I don't know how I made it black but it's working I got a silhouette a Hunter Douglas silhouette behind me yeah it looks great so it's really pretty color actually it doesn't show up that way but so as a designer new year's resolutions my resolution is to be more organized mm -hmm. and more more fluent yeah. And what I do and mm -hmm. record everything that I do yeah. and be a better designer than I was yesterday, right. better designer than I was last year. And just being, I don't know, good. I'm honest with my clients. Yeah. I love what I do. It's my passion. Mm -hmm. And I need to know how to set boundaries with my clients yeah. and, yeah. um, that kind of thing. I think one of the things that I have kind of taken and I have, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, kind of letting my staff do a lot of the phone calls about delegate, or, delegate, delegation. And sometimes it's, I've delegated too much when, what I've kind of come to the conclusion that, um, my staff can call a client two times that that third time I need to call them. Yes. Your clients they, want, they want to see you and they want to hear from you. We've yep. learned that. Yeah. So the, like experience. every third phone call, I'm like, I've got this one, you know, it's like, okay, I think you've called them twice. Now I'm going to call them this time yes. um, because they want to hear from me. And, and Same. several of the clients have said, I, I love, you know, I love your staff, but I am not, you know, I really I would, hired you. I want to work with you. Yeah. So and we can't be everywhere at one time. People don't understand. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the number one client. Everybody mm -hmm. wants the number one. But if we only had one client or two clients to work with, we right. wouldn't be where we are today. Right. We wouldn't be in business and we wouldn't have a lot of the things that, oh, look, I'm going. I don't know what you're <laughs> to turn my, um, we wouldn't be able to have a staff we wouldn't be able to do what we do we wouldn't have the buying power that we have right and for me and you we are like i mean i'm so lucky that i have you to bounce ideas off of i'm so lucky right. that i can call trish right uh, in florida i'm so lucky that i can have a lease fly in to help me but if hey we i helped you did, too <laughs> you did everybody i went in and hung pictures <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, you, that, that house turned out amazing. It was. <laughs> um, I love that client. I can't wait to post pictures. Um, I'll That's give her a nice plug. She owns, a, she owns an amazing restaurant called Catalina's. Yeah. And we got her unpacked, organized, everything hung. And I was just amazed that we did it and got it done. Yeah. And she yeah. was so happy about it. I want to talk a little bit about. Um, and she had a designer lie to her. Tell you truth. are never to lie to a client. Never, I ever, told her ever. straight up that she would not be getting blinds by December 17th. Yep. And this designer said, oh, I can get you the blinds by December 17th. I called Melinda. I called the president of Hunter Douglas. I called another blind company. And they told me, Danny, there's absolutely no way that those blinds are showing up when no way. this person said they would. And mm -hmm. guess what? I hate to have to say that I was right. But the blinds did not show up. I was when, right. I was like, there is no way. I mean, she was ordering bamboo shades. I I would go to I every week check the delivery schedule, and it was like fifty six days out. And I'm like, there's no way. I yeah, mean, if it was sixty five days out, and that didn't include weekends or holidays. Right, right. And I was like, there's no way, Danny. I yeah. said, 
I told her that too. But she, yeah. this girl, she told her that she could absolutely get them. And she did not pull through. The client ended up canceling the order. It's not and worth it telling people. It's better to push them out and not tell them that you can deliver it. And then when it comes in, it's so much better. Like my, like my blinds, you know, the one, the lady that I just installed yeah. that I told her there was no way I said, yeah. January 5th, January 5th, January 5th. And she's like, darn it. And I said, you know, and then when I did get a shipping notification, I kind of sat on it a day because I was like, do I believe this? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get those too. I'm like, are you really showing up that day? Right. <laughs> because like, I've had chairs. They're like, oh, we're going to deliver these tomorrow between yeah. the hours of nine and four. And I've luckily, I just happen to be sitting here at 630 at night and the FedEx truck shows up. Oh, my so, God. Like, I don't trust delivery times. Me neither. And it's the trucking industry that's controlling that. So I know. I know. But you know, it was it was a good lesson learned for everybody to you know over, you know under promise over deliver. Um, Patience is key in this world, and we have a twenty honest. we have a two page twenty point explanation of what to expect with working with the designer. Uh -huh. And number one is the chaos theory. Anything <laughs> that can go wrong will go wrong. It's the Murphy's law. Lot Murphy's law. And number 10 is Christmas is not a deadline and neither is a party. So right. I've been referring to those and I hand them to people. Every client gets them, but I guess, I don't know if they choose not to read them or what. Yeah, but, they don't think that they, that means for them. <laughs> you know, we you love all of our like clients, that. even the difficult ones. We yeah. Still love. Yeah. We still it's appreciate yeah and every what every are you great what are you grateful for this year because i don't even think we got the podcast for thanksgiving we oh, did a live facebook from your store that's right i'm um, thankful to have my team in place i'm thankful to be working with such great vendors and reps mm -hmm. i'm thankful to have friends like you in my life and i just i'm excited for a 2022 with you <laughs> Well, I'm just, I am grateful for our friendship for sure. Yes. Because you know, it's like. Cheers. Same. You know, I don't even have anything. Paint. Um, Please don't drink the paint. I won't. <laughs> I don't, I couldn't go. I mean, I, my relationship with you, I've learned so much. I've, I've learned so much from you. I've become a better designer because of our relationship. I love when you call me with a problem and I answer it for you right away. And you're like, what should I do with this? I'm like, this is what you do. Step A, B, C, do it yeah. this way. And then it works out. Yeah. And you do the same thing for me. So yeah. even after 30 years, I learned something every single day. So I'm grateful for 30 years of being in business because I hit my 30 years um, November 12th. And that's a huge together. Month. I mean, together we have almost, I mean, I've been doing this. It'll be 20 years next year. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, we've, I mean, yes. both of us have like out, out and been in business more than some of the people who are like, I've watched designers come and go <laughs> and I've had designers. Oh, they just, the designer disappeared when COVID happened. The designer just disappeared. Yeah. And me and you were like the cockroaches of design. At the, <laughs> at the end of the world, there's going to be me, you, and Cher. <laughs> Cher, not Cher Sager. Cher, Cher. <laughs> and we'll be on our um, farewell tour and our fair, fair, farewell tour. And the yeah. re farewell tour. People say, how long are you going to work, Melinda? I'm like, till I'm dead, because... <laughs> I can't imagine... Well, I can't imagine retiring because this is my passion. I'm working right. like it's my passion. So yeah, it is mine yeah. too. I Ooh. you know it's it's been it's ingrained, you know. Yeah. Our mothers is. did something to us when we were growing up. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. My mother is my current client right now, and I have to see her next week. Did you get her vanity in? 
her vanity's in the garage and she keeps calling me. I can't get a contractor to call me back. And I'm like, shocker. <laughs> so, I My daughter told. has has given me this several projects to do this year. I've yeah. had to remodel two apartments up upstairs in my shop. I've had to redo the studio floor. I've like, oh my gosh. <laughs> We're out of time. So hopefully you can find this podcast on any podcast that you listen to. We'll repost it. Abigail will post it on our SoundCloud, but I think you can find us on um TDX podcast is our Instagram. We have the Design Exchange Facebook group. You can follow me at Danny Russo on Instagram or Daniel Russo Home, which is my new Instagram. And Melinda is FDI. <laughs> Fine Designs. Fine Designs INT on Instagram. And she is the wonderful and amazing Melinda Peters Elliott. And her side name is Ramchata. Me and Ramchata <laughs> got to go out last Saturday night. And she was in full on. She drank the bar out of Ramchata. Just let me put it to you that way. You know they what? Ran out of Ramchata yeah. by the time she left. I did have a drink with Ramchata in it. <laughs> <laughs> they made me a key lime pie. It was so good. God. All right, we're out of time for this week, but make sure you guys follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in our comments on either of our groups. Feel yeah. free to email us. I'm Danny at Daniel Russo Home, and Melinda is Fine Designs and Melinda interiors. at Melinda Peters Elliott at Fine Designs and Interiors. That's your email address, girl. Oh no, 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 Melinda at Fine Designs and Interiors.com. Yes, and Melinda's great with her draperies, her blinds fudge fusion mineral paint coffee if you're in downtown london stop by 11 south main street well that was we, good we can't wait to talk to you guys soon and we wish you a merry christmas That's and right. if we don't get to you before new, new year's year. happy new year as well 2022 it's coming yep. in hot and listen to us on iHeartRadio, 610 WTVN. 610 WTVN, iHeartRadio, 5 p.m. <laughs> on the first Sunday of every month. 5.07. Yes, 5.07. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Love you guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful new year. Bye.